Hello, my Fumble family. I hope you have pockets full of quarters because today we are going to an arcade to play some arcade games. Ow! Sorry, Caden. It's just that last time you went to an arcade, you did terrible and embarrassed yourself in front of all your friends. Are you sure you want to go again? Ow, you're right, little Caden. I, I did do terrible at everything and embarrass myself, but today I'm going to a Roblox arcade, which, by the way, is entirely different. Oh, okay. You're still gonna do terrible. Bye, Ted. Oh, uh, well, he he's probably right. Anyways, my Fumble family, as you've heard, today we're going to an arcade, but not just a normal arcade, a Roblox arcade. One made by my buddy Eco Crash, who is currently working on another Roblox story game with me, but I will give you more details on that later. But this game right here is called Arcade Night, and it's an awesome story game in which you go into an arcade with your friend at night, and some things go wrong, but no spoilers. I'll show you once we get in there. I totally forgot, but as a, as a bonus Easter egg, I am the bus driver on the first bus in the game. So if you want to get a bus ride from old Caden, hop on. Okay, uh, it's lagging a lot. All right, so uh, our boy Charlie right here, he, he be lagging a little bit, but he's trying to show us some cool arcade games. Uh, I guess right now we all have like a few tickets so we can go around and play things. I'm trying to get a half-eaten cheeseburger out of a claw machine because your boy's hungry. <gasps> Delicious! As you can tell, I ate that thing in one freaking swift bite. That thing just got devoured by me. Just disintegrated into my eyeball head. I want to play that arcade machine, lady. Get off of that thing. All right, I'll just play the one next to you. Just kidding. I can't. Well, at least I have this teddy bear to keep me company. Oh my god, why is this girl crying? All right, talk to crying girl. Hey, what happened, you little crying butt cheek baby? I lost my unicorn toy that I got from the claw machine. Oh no! Please, can you get me a new one? Heck yeah, I can give you a new one. I got the skills to pay your bills. Did you see the way I swept up that cheeseburger earlier? Easy peasy. Okay, so this is the unicorn one, right? Now this, this is the unicorn one. Okay, here goes. Give me a unicorn, baby. That was easy. Mission complete! Here's your unicorn, you crying baby. Thank you so much, this little girl. You're welcome. No problem, kid. Wait, what? Why did the little girl just say no problem, kid? Okay, so Charlie says they'll buy someone a free hamburger if they can win this contest. I just got one of those out of the claw machine, but I can use another burger. All right, so the game's very simple. All you have to do is click on the money and try not to click on the bombs. If you click on the money, you get a handful of cash. If you click on the bombs, your hands blow up. So let's do our best. All right, money. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, he already clicked on a bomb. All right, money, money, money. I'm Mr. Krabs. Money, money, money. It's all I see. Okay, that's bombs. Why do they both gotta be circles? My brain can't process that fast enough. Please, Kaden, just click on some of the monies. Ooh, this music really encourages me to click the monies. Could this just be my job? Can people just throw coins at me and I'll just grab them out of the air while avoiding pipe bombs? All right, Oliver is busting out some moves over here. Maybe they did good. They must have done good. Okay, let's see who got the highest score. Oh, okay, yeah, the person who's dancing got the highest score. That makes sense, congratulations. I wish I was you. Okay, somebody in the arcade is tired and wants to be a party pooper and ruin the fun for the rest of us. Uh, so now we're all going home. <sighs> hey mom, these are my friends that play with me at the arcade. Hello everyone, it's so nice to meet you all. My son talks a lot about you guys all the time. Really, Charlie? You talk about me? You talk a lot of smack about me, Charlie? So, can they sleep here tonight, asked Charlie? Man, it's like 12 children here, Charlie. Do you really want to throw all these kids into your mom's house? All right, so now we can explore the house, uh, steal money, steal their personal life savings out of their house, stealing people's belongings, and uh, sifting through things that aren't yours. All right, we got 25 seconds left to rob this place dry. Come on, man, they've got to have some credit card information on this computer. Guess not, but they do got a second living room. That's, that's nice. Also, is this a- Why is the door to the bathroom see-through? Oh, I got a cookie. Mmm, <laughs> they make me gassy. Thanks for the cookie that I just shoved into my eyeball and- Made disappear. Thanks, mom. These are delicious and totally not poisoned like they always are. All right, apparently we got to go to their room. It's 1242 a.m. Getting kind of late over here. Here we are. Are we expected to all sleep in this extra large customized bed? Why does Charlie own a bed made for 12 people? I'm kind of hungry. Can we order food? Yeah, let's order some pizza. All right, I can go for some pizza. I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm just gonna cramp my brains out. But I'll go for some pizza. What flavor do you guys want? Um, cheese pizza and pepperoni pizza. I'm vegan. I have cheese pizza. I can't eat cheese anyway, but whatever. I can't believe that you guys chose this flavor. Barfing face! <coughs> Sorry, Charlie. What do you mean? It's so good, says random lady. It's literally just cheese, says Charlie. Yes, the one I voted for won. Be honest. 
Who picked cheese? Me. I did. Dot 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 says over. No! <laughs> Apparently I think they didn't want me to pick cheese. Now I'm gonna throw one of these sick dance moves to try to distract them. At least you are honest. But still. I'm gonna unsub this person says. No! <laughs> you know who I am? <laughs> Please don't unsub. <laughs> Please don't. How did you hide that this whole time? My mom is a sleepwalker. Do not wake her up or we might get in trouble. Really? You just run by your mom and be like, hey, wake up! Okay, all right, we're not gonna do that. Don't worry, guys. We have 24 seconds to sneak past his evil mother. If she catches us, she will tear us apart. Limb from limb, which isn't that bad considering we're Roblox characters, but still, it's kind of scary. Look at the sneaking animation. They're just like tiptoeing away. Okay, now we're just going down this sketchy alleyway. Um, something I've done many times in life is run down sketchy alleyways in the middle of the night. It should be fun. It usually turns out pretty good. All right, here we are. We made it to the arcade because we're a bunch of rascals who can't wait until business opens till morning. So we're going to violate their privacy and bust through the doors. Haha, <laughs> yay. All right, apparently Charlie knows how to pick a freaking lock with a paper clip because he's a freaking god tier lock picker. Nobody could do that, I don't think, but wow. <laughs> no offense, Eco. These are some pretty epic characters you got here. Okay, so apparently it didn't work. I was correct. Uh, maybe we're not gamers, because only gamers are allowed and it wouldn't let us through. Now we have to choose between picking the main door or sneaking through the backside. I'm gonna go sneak through the backside, because the main door, it doesn't seem to be working. Also, it's more conspicuous if we go in the back. Let's go back here, everyone. Also, yeah, this person here says, I like the options. Me too. Having choices in games like this makes it a lot more fun. Look, Here's a camera, but I don't think it's working. Oh, good. I'm glad that you don't think it's working, but what if it is? All right, the arcade's looking pretty cool, not gonna lie. Kind of strange that they left all the drinks out. Okay, so uh, the crew over here has found a broken arcade game. <laughs> then they ripped the towel off of it and said, No! This can't be broken. I'm gonna play it anyway. Coming here was a bad idea, but you guys accepted it, so let's do it now. Ah, oh, thanks, Charlie. You're a great friend. You know, I, I think it was your idea to come here, but whatever, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. We tried playing the arcade machine, and it's exploding. We're gonna be charged for arson. We're all dead before we can. Oh, my God. That lady just screamed, and the, s <laughs> the screen turned black. Are we dead? Is this the afterlife? My goodness. Are we in... Ban land. Okay, Charlie doesn't know where we are. Maybe we teleported to another dimension or something. It's kind of a wild guess. I think you're right though. Hello players, says question mark, question mark, question mark. Wow, you are seven in total. Yes, we were nine, but two of us died while leaving the house because Charlie's mom. Calm down, Charlie, says this random entity. Charlie's confused about how they know their name. Okay, so they collected information about us through the games that we played. Uh, now I'm assuming we're gonna have to battle a game. It's kind of like Sword Art Online. We're now inside of a video game, even though we are already technically inside of a video game. So to escape from this world, you must complete three games. And if you die during any of those, you are so donezo. You are just dead. Left to rot in the dimension of video games. Okay, easy peasy says o Oliver over here. Bet says over. Okay, cool. All right, we got someone confident on our team. I, I think we can do this. Do you want to go back to the normal world? Yeah, I do actually. What well, kind of? Is this one fun? Mm. Things are changing. Okay, welcome to the first game challenge. This person says, my eyes are burning. I'm sorry. My singular eye is burning as well. This game is called Dungeon Survival. You just accessed my player database to see if I've played this game before. Let's see what they say. You guys know what to do. Good luck. Okay, so apparently some people here have played this game already. Time to channel my dream skills. Okay, this person over here has got to be Dream from Minecraft. They just admitted it. Uh, dream face reveal confirmed. Okay, um, <laughs> please tell me we don't have to kill each other. No, just defeat the incoming demons. Okay. Die, demons! Don't touch my friends! I won't let you! I will murder all of the demons before they can come near you, my friends! Oh no, that guy literally almost died. Don't die. Don't freaking die, please. I don't- No! Leave the guy who's good at this game alone! Dang, that- that demon took a lot of freaking machete slashes. It takes me one machete slash to die. Stupid demons. Oh my god, I'm literally about to die. <laughs> I'm like, I'm the one with the least amount of health here. Alright, well that was kind of easy since Charlie. Heck yeah, Charlie. That was kind of easy, but not for me. Only for you, says Calisurf. Exactly. All right, good job, players, says the evil entity. 
Everyone survived the first challenge. Now let's start with your second challenge, which is a hot dog eating contest. Just kidding, it's it's some dark plane of existence in someone's dream core fantasy. Is this a maze? No, it's a mythical forest. There is a portal waiting for you, but you have to find the portal before the timer runs out. You have one minute? One little teeny minute to complete this maze? Or what? Or you'll turn into a stone statue, just like many others did. That is terrifying. All right, Medusa, let's do your challenge. You guys better start walking. Time has begun. Oh my God. All right, it better just be straightforward. Otherwise, I'm never finding it. Why am I swimming? Where did the water come from? <laughs> I'm so confused and scared. How about this glowing flower? Is this it? No, but I do look cute in it. Someone said, the hell is even this? What the hell is even that? Okay. <laughs> I revived myself, so like, it doesn't matter that I died, and now I'm a step ahead of everyone in the, in the third challenge. Cause yeah, I, I died because I suck. That's what you get for picking cheese. I'm sorry, okay? All right, now we are at a tower escape game. For those of you who don't know, Eco Crash and I made a tower escape game together, so this should be fun. All right, so basically it's like Tower of Hell, but more coolly themed and with disasters that have happened along the way. So I think we could do this. We're friends with Pink Leaf. We know what we're doing. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, Kaden. Show them your obby skills. Show them why you deserve to own an obby game. Oh my god, oh my god, the lava is rising below us. That is terrifying. And also a mechanic in our game, Tower of Killers, which you should check out in the description below. All right, now we're currently running through Bikini Bottom or something from the looks of it. Uh, it's going quite well. All right, everyone, escape through the hole in the ceiling, kids. It's fine. Hey, money. Don't mind if I do. I might be running for my life, but if I see a dollar on the ground, you better bet your butt cheeks I'm going back for it, baby. Oh no. I'm a failure. Dang, there's like five levels of this thing. This is epic. All right, now we're in the snow zone. My feet are cold. This hurts. But I've only got 75 seconds left, which is just 10 seconds over a minute. So let's go. And bam, I think we actually made it to the exit. And I'm only the third person to make it here. Good job, Kaden. Okay, the lava is rising and it stops right there. So I guess I could technically have been standing on that ice block. Congratulations, I see that you finished all three games. Yes, we did, random voice. You're the first players to ever complete all three games. Wow. Before you go, I want to tell you something, dot, dot, dot. Oh no. I know I told you that I would let you go, but now I've changed my mind? I didn't know you would come this far, and I'm a little stinky butt, and I wanted to make you upset. That's what it should say. Uh, nobody goes live from here. I know you've done a lot, but can you survive me? They ask in an Undertale-esque font. Oh god. Oh god, it's a real boss battle. Ah! Squeeze your teddy bear, Caden. It's all right. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I can survive boss battles, actually. I'm, I'm pretty good at these. Well, this is a pretty awesome boss battle. Very abstract things happening here. It's kind of like an art show. Pepperonis! Good thing we didn't choose pepperoni pizza earlier. Oh god, no! I got hit for the first time? Maybe? No, no, no! Oh my god, they're getting really mad. They say you must die! Oh my god, they're really trying to kill us! Um, they're almost succeeding on a few of us too! Uh, in which case I'm gonna try to revive anyone who dies. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Don't die! Don't die, lady! We actually all made it. I didn't have to revive anyone. Everyone survived. Wow. That was intense. What just happened? You know, I, I would like to know myself, personally speaking. I don't really understand. <gasps> but I just realized Charlie's missing. Oh no. Charlie must have must have died. That's okay. At least we're leaving the game now. Okay, so we're back at the arcade now. It actually says game over on the screen. That's like a cute little detail. I love that. But we're still worried about Charlie because Charlie is missing. Now we're searching the arcade. Okay, apparently Charlie's just scarred over here in the corner, just questioning everything about life. I don't know, but I'm scared. All right, Charlie, let's get the heck out of here because now I'm getting scared too. When I was left behind, I suddenly fainted and then woke up here. Left behind? The next morning. So Charlie got a little messed up in the head today. Some scary things have happened. And we woke up in the room. Looks like everything's fine. Uh, the t Oh, never mind. The uh, TV is now talking about an arcade disaster. Game zone closed after an overnight something. I was trying to read it, but that bacon haired noob was walking in front of the TV. Well, I hope they don't find out that we did it. Me too, Charlie. Otherwise, we're going to prison. Lois says, I still don't know exactly what happened last night. Over Limit says, maybe it was all a nightmare? Maybe it never even happened in real life? Charlie says, well, I don't know myself. Okay, mom who, who murdered two of our friends earlier says, breakfast is ready, so let's go get some food from that murderer. Well, bam, we went, ate food and- <gasps> 
I was worried. Yeah, now, yeah. Like the game, and special thanks to both DOS and Broken Toast. Oh, and also, thank you for. Oh, it cut off. <laughs> that was my voice acting, by the way. That was me in the end, uh, if you were wondering why that sounded exactly like me. So, my Bumble family, that all being over, I had a great adventure today. If you enjoyed it as well, please let me know by commenting down below, liking the video, and subscribing if you haven't already, because that does help me out a whole butt ton. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>